Today, I'll show you how to customize your football boots to give them another color, another design, or completely black them out, if that's what you want. And also, I'll show you how to go from this to this. Now, before you actually start the painting, you need to make sure that you have the right materials and the right spot where you can make a bit of a mess if things go south. In other words, you shouldn't do this on your bed because if it goes wrong, it's gonna be terrible and your parents will kill you. So just keep it in mind. Anyways, my kit consists of some acetone simply to help me take off the top coating of the material to make it more receptive to the actual paint. It's Angela's acrylic leather paint. That's the good stuff. Now, after the painting is done, I'm gonna finish it off with the Angelus acrylic finisher. I'm gonna apply the paint and the finisher with my set of brushes in different thicknesses. I'm gonna protect my hands with some gloves and my table, my precious table, with some newspaper. And also, of course, we need some football boots that we can actually paint on. Now, keep in mind that the paint works better on leather. Actually, it is called leather paint after all. But if you want to use it on synthetic, you can do it if you use the acetone and the finisher in a proper way. Just keep that in mind. But guys, without further ado, what do you say we get to painting this bad boy? Okay guys, you've guessed it. Today I'm gonna play with my A17.1 in leather. I'm gonna black out the red toe box and then I'm gonna add some red to the upper part of the tongue to make this look even more like a predator. The first thing to do is to remove the laces and then we're gonna take off the top coating using the acetone. And I'm gonna use a cloth. Don't get this on your hands. It's not gonna be very pleasant. Boom, take off the top coating. Take off the top coating on the top of the boot. There we go. And it should be ready to get some paint on it. Okay, so with the acetone out of the way, let's actually start painting. I'm gonna shake my Angela's paint here a little bit, and then it's time to take off a small brush. And basically, this is like playing around with a coloring book back when you were a kid. You need to pay close attention to make sure that you don't color outside of the lines. Let's do this, boys. You can also, if you're feeling confident, take a bigger brush. There we go. And as you can see, I've left out some of the edges here so I can go in and with precision actually paint it up so it looks good afterwards. Getting down to the sole plate here. Important that I keep my focus and concentration. Because now, as you can see, I've painted more or less the entire toe box apart from the finer edges around the sole plate, which means I'm gonna go down to my smaller brush and go into the nitty gritty. And what you can do guys, if you wanna be completely sure that you don't hit the sole plate, you should, that you can tape it up. And we more or less have a completely blacked out toe box. Now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go wash my brushes, then I'm gonna let the paint dry, and I'm gonna move on to painting this red. So this is probably not the most successful thing you've ever seen in your life, guys. But at least the coloring of the toe box went well. That's one job well done. The other, um, I don't know about that. Once again, switching brushes. Maybe it's a good thing I'm not a like brain surgeon or something because my hand to eye coordination or vice versa is terrible. It kind of looks like a predator. So all we need to do now is let this dry and then we're gonna apply our acrylic finisher. All right, so after applying the paint with, should we say, various degrees of success, it's time to finish off with the third step, which is to finish the boot with the Angelus acrylic finisher. Now what this does is to go in and simply protect the paint so it doesn't crack or fall off when you actually start using the boots. It's very important though that you only apply this once the paint is dry. If you're in a hurry, give it at least a good few hours, but if you can, give it 24 hours or more. Now once the paint is dry, you wanna put this on with your brushes, or even, if you have it, an airbrush. I don't, so I'm just gonna use one of my clean brushes. Let's do it. And what you wanna do here is to apply 
a smooth layer. You don't want to apply too much. The good thing about the finisher is that it's going to add as a protective layer on top of the paint. So even if it starts raining or you get a lot of friction on the boot from playing outside, the paint will actually be protected and will last longer simply. And we should more or less be done. The next thing we need to do is just sit back, wait for the boot to dry, wait for the finisher to dry, and then we should be good to go. That's it. That's how you transform a football boot from this into, well, that. Whatever it's supposed to look like. The giveaway is simple. If you want Jay's product, vote in the poll, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you want Jules' product, vote in the poll, leave a comment, and subscribe.